What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a new tweak called Alternate Controls. Now what Alternate Controls does is basically give you some Android software controls that kinda of, sorta of fit in with iOS. Now you'll see that we're gonna get three icons that we can tap on or software buttons that we can tap on that are gonna do some different things. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and jump into our settings here and we're gonna tap on Alternate Controls. So right up here is where you're gonna enable the tweak and then right down here you can actually toggle on some additional things. So you can show the touch, so when you tap on a button, do you want it to highlight or do you not want it to highlight? That's what this does. So I'm gonna leave it on just so you guys can see. Also right here you can use modern icons, which is gonna be more from the newer Android software rather than the old school Android software. I'll show you, I'll show you both of them uh, just to give you guys an idea of what they both look like. And then right down here we can also invert the color. So let's go ahead and activate this, and I have it activated by you can see swipe location on the right of the bottom of the screen so you can see what this looks like so you have the square the circle the triangle so we can see that this is the more modern look now if we just tap up here and then tap on uh, use modern icons or we toggle that off you can see this is more of the old school android icons right there i'm more fan of the modern icon so right down here you can also change the swipe location you can do left middle right or anywhere on the bottom or you can just use none and then actually use a regular activator gesture right here which I'm not going to actually set up you guys know how to set up activator gestures and then right down here we also have some other options so you can dismiss on touch so that's basically what I did uh, earlier so if I just tap right up here it's going to dismiss it and we also have dismiss on button press so if I toggle that on and then we swipe this up you can see if I just tap the middle button which is the home button then you can see this going to dismiss itself after a button press so basically what these do if I tap on this it's going to give me an app switcher if I tap on this it's basically acting like a home button and if I tap on this, this is going to go to the last application that I was in so let's go back here to the settings and then you also see that we have vibrate on touch so if we toggle that on every time we touch a button it's going to vibrate and we also have toggle to apps which I'll get more into in just a second so let's activate this we'll swipe up and you can see right here if we tap on this button it's going to bring up the app switcher as you can see right there now if we go back here and we swipe up again if we tap on this button then it's going to act like the home button so if we tap on that it's going to go directly to the lock screen or the uh, home screen right there swipe up one more time if we tap on this button it's going to go to the last open application now not only can you tap on these buttons but you can tap and hold on them as well but if we swipe up and we tap and hold on this button you can see that we get a notification saying that toggle to apps is disabled now what this does is give us the ability to toggle between two separate applications back and forth using this button so what we want to do is we're going to turn off uh, dismiss on touch or on button press so now we're going to go back here so let's say we wanted to go into the settings app if we wanted to switch between that and the health app right here all right so we're going to go through those two applications so you can see right here if we go ahead and swipe up and then if we tap on this button you'll see that we go directly back into the health app now if we tap one more time then we go into the settings app and again back to the health app and then settings so that's basically what toggling this on does so if I toggle this back off you would normally get a notification right up here saying it's been disabled but I have do not disturb because I've been getting a whole lot of notifications up there but you can see right here now if I tap across then we're actually going to go through all of our uh, applications that are open which I only have three open applications but that's basically what that does now right here in the middle if we tap and hold on the the pseudo home button this is actually going to give us Siri as you can see right there and of course you'll see if we go ahead and swipe up here and we tap and hold on the triangle then we can actually open up the applications right here so you can see if I tap on settings it's going to open up the settings app very simple that's basically all that alternate controls does it gives you that Android software button layout right down there and you can tap on all these buttons as well as tap and hold on all these buttons so let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below and if you enjoy this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe all right guys until next time peace